the numbers of refugees have continued to increase because the government of Uganda has the open arm policy and has allowed southern Sudanese refugees to enter into the country. Finding its space in a nexus between development and the humanitarian response, the Skills Development Program contributes to increasing access to qualitative, relevant and certified skills that include technical and vocational training of youth, women and girls among the refugees and host communities. Ana ya ana onu sumurta ta ide ya de yu ma li biga sido na ana suma gija sido na fitrin to ala na na de no swan ana gin fi meeting ana gali fi ade se kata na na li go na gira fitrin yu. To improve the quality of the skills training of livelihood activities, the Skills Development Fund (SDF) has set up a voucher scheme, breaking down skills development to its smallest possible format through instant skills training to beneficiaries of other agencies supporting livelihood and income generating activities. If they are trained in business skills and uh, the youth and the women are put in groups, then the, the groups should be able to, to do something that will generate an income. And that income is what would be most viable to the community. The project is piloting a voucher scheme to provide qualitative and flexible instant trainings for a duration of 10 to 100 hours to meet the training demands of beneficiaries. This is done in collaboration with agencies supporting refugees and host communities, hereby addressing humanitarian concerns through a development approach. The rollout of the instant skills training was piloted with the Danish Refugee Council DRC, and Community Empowerment for Rural Development, Seaford, based on the relevance of the refugee labour market. How the voucher scheme works, step by step. Through the labour market scans, the skills are identified focusing on green skills and livelihood skills needs. Highly qualified training providers are selected to give practical and individual training. A livelihood actor that is active in the implementation region issues a voucher request to Enabel online. The voucher request is approved and the voucher is issued. Livelihood actors prepare and distribute the vouchers to the beneficiaries, ensure that beneficiaries attend the training and monitor the trainees after the training. The training provider delivers the training, which includes training materials and safety equipment, assessment and certification. If the labour market scans indicate any other existing skill gaps, then additional training is outsourced to meet that additional need depending on relevance and availability of funds. The pilot trainings 15 unskilled youth identified from different zones of Bidi Bidi refugee settlement and the neighboring community undertook a 10 days basic hand pump training to become hand pump technicians. Danish Refugee Council, DRC, had earlier identified potential participants for repair and maintenance of boreholes within the refugee settlement and the neighboring villages as a major obstacle for sustainability of water sources in the settlement. We learn already right from the top of the hand pump up to down, up to the cylinder. We know exactly what is happening. Yeah.